Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, for either As of 1900, on 19 March, currently the U.S. Army has 45 cases. This number includes 21 soldiers, 6 DA civilians, 8 family members, and 10 contractors. Responding in, responding in times of crisis, helping restore peace in times of chaos, and organizing, organizing against a threat is what the Army does best. We have 191,000 soldiers operating on missions worldwide and must preserve our ability to meet the needs of the nation. Yes, we are. We are, we are going to, um, to uh, basically virtual recruiting. Uh, much of that is, is done on uh, social media and that allows us to uh, protect our soldiers and also uh, protect the uh, new recruits. So yes, we are. So you're closing a recruiting station? Right? Uh, yes, we are. As of today or? It's 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 oh it's either today it's it's, it's happening right yeah, now yeah. as we speak. I, I can't I can't attest to that every recruiting station, but that that is what we are, we are doing over this week, and um, over, the, over the next couple of days that's that's what you'll see. But we are moving uh, to I would say virtual recruiting. General Flynn can answer your second one. Uh, it's all going to depend on duration. You know, we're taking this, we're looking at this really hard over the next 15 days and what you, you're, we're looking every day to what the experts are learning. Is this going to be a seasonal flu and then potentially boomerang in the late fall? You know, we're, we're learning every day about this. Right now it's a tactical, you know, almost pause. But uh, I think when you, when you look at how we're pro approaching this, we've had a margin in our recruiting numbers this year. So we're doing very well. Uh, and that, you know, you know, I knock on wood as I say that, but it's just all going to depend on duration. You know, where will we be in a month? So uh, we're going to, you know, we're going to, we're going to watch this every day and see whether or not we can make an adjustment here downstream. These existing buildings. Uh, what, uh... On the detection front, our organization, in concert with external entities, are working rapidly to increase the throughput of testing. With a widened aperture, we can test our force at a higher rate. The Army has nine medical treatment facilities with clinical laboratories certified to conduct COVID-19 testing. Our surge capacity will increase because of our working supplemental funding and the utilization of the Defense Production Act. Today, we are currently at 810 samples today and have concepts in place to get us north of 16,000 per day as we procure additional instrumentation. For the treat line of effort, the Army Corps of Engineers is working with state governments in 13 states and will reach 18 by this evening to provide planning and concept development on behalf of FEMA to increase bed space and support to augmentation and enhance medical response. Medical has been told to take a look at their capabilities and capacity.